What's happening, boxing? What's happening, YouTube? It's Amp about that boxing. Today, we're going to be talking about Shakur Stevenson again. Shakur Stevenson again. This time, we're going to be talking about a comment that he made during his recent interview on Fight Hype, where Shakur Stevenson says that he's fine being the b-side fighter contrary to popular belief let's go ahead and we're going to listen to it and then we'll go ahead and talk about it we'll, we'll leave it right there we'll leave it because i don't mind being that's that's the other false narrative too that's out there too because i want people to know that like mm. i don't mind being a b-side fighter i don't mind being a b-side so if that's how i gotta get to where i gotta go because i'm probably the only fighter in the sport of boxing that i'm gonna have to be the b-side fighter on several different occasions i'm i'm a, I'm, I'm all for it just to show like okay that's who i am um i done done it before that that's why like it threw me off like i didn't valdez was the a-side when i mm. first got that it was valdez stevenson like y'all really go remember Valdez made more money. Valdez, everything was Valdez, bro. So I like I hear people, but I just want people to know like that's the false narrative. Um, I'm willing to be the B side against some of these guys if I got to um, to get to where I gotta go. All right, y'all. So y'all heard Shakur say it, and let's go back to the Oscar Valdez fight. Why he was the B-side on the Oscar Valdez fight is the fact that Oscar Valdez was more established. He had been a champion already defending his belt at the weight class. He was already more established, had a bigger, deeper resume than Shakur Stevenson at the time. So yes, you're the B-side. Against Herring, same thing. It was Herring's belt Stevenson was after, so he had to be the B-side. That makes sense. He also did admit in the Devin Haney negotiations that he was the B-side. That's cool with him. He just wasn't cool with the money. That's what he's saying. But when Devin Haney makes him the biggest offer financially of his career at the time and a chance to get all the straps He's making excuses. So y'all tell me why he didn't take that fight. Why would he not take that fight? I think he felt the risk was too big for him to take 25%, even though it would be his biggest payday. I don't know what he was thinking. He was going to be 50-50 with the guy with all the straps with the champ. Then he didn't turn around and say what he would accept. This is the part. See how everybody tells one side of everything and everybody displays one side of everything. Shakur never said what he would accept. If he would have said, okay, I'll take 35% at, at XYZ or I'll take the 25%, but XYZ has to happen. See what I'm saying? So where was this attitude at? See, Shakur keeps playing childish games. Shakur needs to grow up. I keep telling y'all, he needs to put his social media away. He needs to grow up because he's doing childish things. One minute he's saying he's retiring. Then the next minute, Bob Arum is asked and Bob Arum has to clean his ish up. Bob Arum has to show up like his daddy. You remember at school, uh, when you see people get in trouble, or if you ever got in trouble, and then you'd be like, hey, we, we probably gonna have to suspend your son, or, or we gonna have to expel your son from school for his actions. And then the parent be like, he didn't mean it. That's literally what Bob Arum had to say to defend Shakur Stevenson. Oh, he didn't mean that. He didn't mean it. That's eighth grade, Shakur Stevenson. You are supposed to shed those habits in eighth grade, my dude. You need a better father figure in your life. I don't know what Willie Moses is to him for real, if that's really his grandfather. But if that's his grandfather, he's not setting a good example. He's a great coach. 
but I'm gonna talk about Willie Moses' actions as a man and stirring up old drama back from 2015, 2016, whenever it happened, and trying to stir up new ish with old drama. That's eighth grade ish. That's all I'm saying, y'all. This just leads me back to one thing. Shakur is desperate. He has no fight date, no negotiations. Nobody saying his name in a positive light right now. No one wants to even have this dude in the ring with them for some reason. Yeah, Bob Aram says, oh, with patience, Shakur, I'm gonna do some great things. I have some great things lined up for Shakur. That's what Bob Aram is saying. Why can't he get a taste of it now? Is Bob trying to set the Lomachenko fight up? Hopefully Lomachenko wins this meaning. Oh yeah, I forgot the, the title's not even on. A, is the title on the line? I believe it is. I believe the title is. Yeah, they're they fighting for the, uh, I forgot. They're fighting for uh, one of the vacant belts at 135 my bad yeah so maybe he's setting shakur up with that lomachenko fight maybe they're, they're trying to let lomachenko collect the strap or something first to make the event bigger very possible but the point is is that shakur stevenson still needs to have a better role model he needs to look up to somebody besides if it's willie moses he needs to look up to somebody else because willie moses acts childish in his actual life as well all coaching aside. This is why I repeatedly say, boxers need to shut up and box. Coaches need to shut up and coach. And promoters need to shut up and promote. Stay in your lane, boxing. Like, subscribe. I'm out.